Welcome to part two of our CRO webinar with Ethan Bentz, where we break down strategies on how to increase the revenue and conversion rates on your e-commerce site. If you missed part one, be sure to check that out first. In this section, we are going to break down audits of about 10 e-commerce sites so you can understand what tests and what changes you could be making to improve the conversion rates of your sites. So let's get into it. Okay, so ultralight meal replacement, love this. Um, that tells me pretty much all that I need to know um, what I'm going to get from this. Here are a couple of things that I would like to see. Let me, whoa, uh, here, let me try to do this. I might need to, okay, no, let me. All right, now let me refresh here. Okay, on home pages, I would like to see a few other things on here. Um, we have we use these little SVG icons that I can show you an example of, but we use these little SVG kind of like little mini icons or badges here that could say free shipping, over fifty thousand customers, um, and you know uh, satisfaction guaranteed. So like these little icons that would show like a you know a mail truck, um, a dollar sign, etc. And I can show an example of that. If it's clear, I would want to include these. This as a video, um, in general, like I said, I'd like to avoid this being a video simply because it can be distracting. Also, since this text is white, it kind of can get caught up in here. I love the headline, ultralight meal replacement. You could do one or two other tests on this that could make this a little bit more, mm, what's the word? A little bit more relevant to the markets that you serve. So what I'm getting from the video is that it's for, again, outdoors folks, people who are in kind of like high intensity jobs or high intensity situations, um, you could include that in here. Ultralight mirror replacement for who, All right? The other thing is, again, a lot of people when we're looking at stuff like this are gonna be thinking about, okay, well, what's in it? Um, so we could probably go ahead and put some ingredients um, in here in the sub headline. I would just work on rearranging this um, and again, test a non-video here, just test an image and see what that does. But I really like, this has a lot of good elements. Um, it can definitely, it can definitely, you know, uh, probably get some higher earnings procession here. Awesome. Oh, the other thing, yeah. always design for mobile first. <laughs> so Thanks. make sure it looks on mobile first and desktop's an afterthought. Thanks, Ethan. I really appreciate it. Yep. Dee, any Not other uh, questions that you had? No, this is super useful. Awesome. Good. Perfect. Also, one last thing too here. Uh, you can make this a lot bigger because I can't really read this. I think it says add water. Um, so make that bigger and a little bit clearer to read. Perfect. Um, anything else on this or you want to jump to maybe other uh, foods? Let's do it. This. All right, and I'm going to refresh because sometimes it's going to look a little bit weirder on mobile whenever you uh, don't refresh it. Okay, so I'm going to initially blame this loading speed on me screen sharing and being on video and on us on Zoom, um, but just double check that this is that the, that's not loading too slowly. Um, organic better for you breakfast biscuits, try new fruit filled, shop custom bundles. In general, we want to try to have one call to action. All right. I would also say as well, um, we want to be including in those SVG icons. We want to be including a sub headline in here. The image is good. I would split test this with somebody enjoying the product as well and show the experience. When we say better for you, um, what does that mean, right? So what's your guys' unique portion of this? So is it free, right? Is it, uh, who's it for? All right, show me some use cases here. That's also relevant for the SVG stuff. Um, I wanted to show you guys, I'll, I'll show you guys real quick because I have it in here as well. But um, one other thing, quick thing that I would say here, you don't need to include shop now on in the banner. In this text, you can remove this. Increase this font size as well to make it a little bit easier to read. So I'll remove fruit filled uh, breakfast, breakfast biscuits are here, cool. Um, you can also include stuff like free shipping above a certain amount. 
we want to, here's the idea with homepage above the fold. And I'm stressing homepage above the fold so much because it really is probably one of the highest impact tests that you can run. Um, but we want somebody to almost have all the information they need to make a purchase from this homepage above the fold, typically except for price. All right, so that's kind of another way that you can, that you can kind of think about it. Um, again, headline is almost there. We're just kind of trying to think of who's it for specifically. It's a little bit more specific, awesome. specific sales. Amanda mentioned uh, for her site, she said it is a little, their site is a little slow. So definitely okay. something to test, right? Or to improve. <laughs> yep. All right. All right, cool. Um, let's actually, I have the, you have the joyful code. We can skip that and talk through some of the other sites because we have a bunch there and come back to it. So I just posted another link for the Sabale tees in the chat if you want to pull that one up. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Also, by the way, Jordan, if you if you're free, I can keep going. Um, I do not have a hard stop at the top of the hour, so. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we can go for anyone who wants to stay. We can go a little bit over. I have a my one year old is napping, so if they wake up, I probably have to go. But other than that, <laughs> let's keep going for anyone who wants to hang on. Cool, nice. Also, too, if you want to, if you want to tend to that, uh, you know what I mean. I can keep doing some side cool. some side audits as well. So yeah, either way. Um, all right, now yeah. So carousel here again. Here's why I don't necessarily like this. Let's really picture where. And again, also to mind you guys, it's not necessarily about what I like. It's just kind of a, an amalgamation of what is typically the thing that is going to convert best. But at the end of the day, I'm wrong a lot. Right. And when I say losing tests, I don't always mean losing tests. I mean, a test that just didn't have a significant improvement. So it could just be flat, right? It's just, there's no improvement to earnings per session. It's 0% improvement. So anyway, again, take this all with a grain of salt. Um, so, but anyway, the reason why I don't love the carousel is because by the time that somebody lands on it, they're from a, they're distracted from an ad. They might've looked away. Now they're looking here. By the time they read the first thing, right? It's changing to another slide. By the time they're kind of like getting a sense of, of what we're talking about here. All right. Wellness in every cup. Your wellness journey starts with a sip. This is hard to read. Um, and this image, the T here is way at the bottom and kind of covered up. Like I don't really necessarily know what you're selling if I'm just looking at this in a snap second. Ethically and responsibly source. Again, Sunkist in Africa. This is all great stuff. Um, but again, reminder is we're probably trying to include all of this on one homepage above the fold. So I would be thinking about how can we say, like, let's say take this, for example, and include all of that relevant information on one version of this, right? So let's say that we're taking this image and we're not gonna slide, there's no carousel here. Um, pour something different, maybe, but I'd be thinking about something more that is relating to um, a benefit that somebody's going to get. So if this is for tea lovers and for tea aficionados, then we need to be speaking their language. Again, maybe it's for something different, but maybe it's something like, you know, ethically sourced tea, um, ethically sourced kind of exclusive tea that you've never tasted before. Again, I don't know your brand. Uh, so <laughs> if that's completely incorrect, you know, um, feel free to, uh, to take whatever's useful from that. But um, that's what I'd be thinking about for the headline. Create a new habit and ritual with tea good but we could be, again be thinking about you know what is that kind of what what does that mean Maybe a little bit more specific sub headlines are very useful to to expand on what we're saying in the headline i would include again we have free shipping over a 60 dollars purchase svg icon how many customers do you have um you know or how many five-star reviews do you have and then anything that is specific so in this case i would put you know, like ethically and responsibly sourced that is perfect for that little svg icon All right and actually real quick so I feel like I just want to make sure that, that they're all on board with that, but let me pull up one real quick and I can show you what I mean by that. So let's take a look real quick. You guys can see these here, yes. these little bottom item. 
Yeah. So this is what I'm talking about with these nutritionist certified, 100% natural ingredients, FDA facility manufactured, made in the USA. These little things are awesome. I love these things. These are like my favorite things because you can get these like quick little blurbs that people really care about, but are not the main focus. These are things, these are like logistical items that could block somebody from making a purchase, but it's not going to cause them to make a purchase without knowing what this is, right? So those are a great place to include those. I did want to show you guys one other thing. And actually, I should be able to just pull this out here on mobile. So hopefully this will come up. Do this. Uh, mobile menus, we really like this format a lot. Let's see if this comes up. Perfect. So we love this format here. We can have bestsellers with images here. Okay. Um, this requires custom dev work, uh, by the way. But this is a really good mobile menu converting formula. And again, you can kind of break out some hierarchy stuff. So I did not look at your menu yet, actually. But yeah, so see, for example, here, how we have home, about us, shop, contact, blog. We have so much space here that we actually could still be using to sell. So more SVG icons, a review, um, you know, is about us the best second option here? Probably not. Probably shop is, right? Is contact the best here? Maybe. I don't know, right? Could be. This is why we just split test it. Okay. I love using those little icons helpful? because you can put so much more information on the page without it looking cluttered. Exactly. And it's one of those things that visually speaking, it really breaks up the monotony of just text, 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 right? It's, yeah. But it's not as complex as like a full scale image. I love those icons. Those are like the best thing ever. Awesome. I think that's good. good. Um, why don't we, I'm just kind of going down in the order from when people posted. Let's post another one on Promolo Granola. All right. Okay. I think I saw a message in here from Sasha as well. Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> we think we might have accidentally skipped the site. If you could just post that in the chat, I'll hit that one right after. Cool. All right, granola. You can delay that pop-up, by the way. Um, okay, so first thing, we have maybe about 15 to 20% of the space of this first homepage about the fold taken up by our announcement banner and our uh, our little nav menu here, logo menu, etc. cetera. Um, we don't want to be doing that, all right, because this is just, this is really prime real estate here. This image, I would definitely, I would also consider maybe testing this animation because it looks like it might be a little bit not buggy, but just kind of like distracting, I guess, like I'm playing with it kind of thing. Um, again, this image, this is good. I'm not going to say that this is necessarily bad or what have you, but if we think about it up to here, our eyes are immediately drawn right here. So I'm seeing this, this image and then up here. So I actually don't really know. In here, we have information that people are actually going to really care about. But this is below the fold on mobile. So rearranging this, if you save some space here by reducing this size, and um, again, you could probably actually get this onto one line as well, perhaps. So think about that. Um, you could just have this code auto apply. You could literally just say free shipping for orders over 50, over 60. Um, and you just have it auto apply if that's the case. And you can literally remove enter here. This is up to one line. We reduce this space. Um, and now all of a sudden, you know, we can move this up, move this up, move this up. And now all of a sudden, we're able to, again, inject those SVG icons. Um, we're able to, uh, let's check out this headline, actually. Elevate your next meal, because what you put in your body matters. Cool. Um, again, who's this for? What's the, you know, who's the primary, the primary demo here? What problem is this solving? So elevate your next meal, I like that. But again, what's really like the, what's the target market here? And feel free to call it out as well. You know, if it's, um, you know, busy, busy people at work who um, need to add some, you know, quick, healthy uh, nutrients to their lunch. Great. There you go. Showcase this product in use as well. The beautiful thing with CPG is that uh, we have products that lend themselves to being used. Like, it's not like a shirt where, you know, it's really tough to, it's like, yeah, like you're just showing a shirt, a t-shirt. You know what I mean? Like there are only so many ways that you can do that. Um, we can get very, very creative. So we should. All right, so definitely test this. 
Awesome. Thanks. Let's, uh, yeah, I just posted Sasha's link there on Ethel, so we can check that out. Awesome. All right, and then we can hit uh, Patricia after. Oh, cool. So we actually worked. Um, we worked with a also a a uh, a pie brand, uh, Mammy's Pies, um, and so yeah, decently familiar with uh, with the space. So pot pie perfection, toast, heat, eat. I like it. Quick and clear. This looks appetizing. Um, I would be again. Gonna sound like a broken record, but the reason why I'm saying it is because it works. <laughs> Tell me about what what are we getting here? Um, what are we getting here on site to help a buyer make a logistical decision? So what I'm kind of thinking of is, um, you know, again we have free shipping on 99 or more. That's great, but what's this made of? What's the differentiator? Um, how many reviews? You know, is there anything specific in terms of of diets that this is best for if not that's okay too but just tell us about you know what's in here this shop now can be centered in full width um pot pie perfection is very very clear however i'm guessing just by the brand name here um we're probably going for sort of like a home cooked feel like a, a grandma's cooking type of feel right um and that's probably like one of the main reasons i guess why why customers would buy and things like that let's include that so pot pie perfection just like grandma used to make or something of that nature again one of the best ways that you can look for ultimate outcomes that that people want is just by looking at reviews so actually we could do this real quick is let's go ahead and okay again i'm assuming that um the screen share plus video is the issue here let's see i sure hope so <laughs> Yeah, um, maybe double check your menu. I'll check on my phone after just to just to be sure. Um, that is kind of weird that it wasn't working though. So let's check out if we have all right, no I'm looking for reviews here that might be here. Okay. Well that's all right. Um like I said, the best way to come up with like headline objectives. Uh, in terms of like outcomes that people want is read through reviews and just read through a bunch of them and you'll find out i bought this for you'll see people saying that all the time right easiest thing you can do your customers will write your copy for you i can guarantee you that it's the easiest thing in the world it feels like cheating <laughs> you're like it cannot be this easy and oftentimes it is that easy and sasha double check your uh your mobile site because the menu is not working on mine either so you're probably losing a bunch of people to that okay yeah, definitely. So don't check that for sure. This does look good though, by the way. Uh, Sasha, I'm getting hungry. Um, <laughs> okay, so here you go. So here's some reviews. And we'll just do this real quick just to show you guys what I mean. Um, easy to make. I love how the pie, uh, the pie's in the microwave while the crust is in the roaster to keep the crust from getting soggy. Interesting. Uh, my dad's always in search of healthy, satisfying meals. You can microwave. Tastes like it should be served in a fine restaurant. Okay. Okay, so notice a lot of people are saying that it's not soggy. We're noticing a lot of people saying like quick and easy preparation. All right. So that's what we're probably going to want to take a look at for this homepage above the full timeline. Um, you know, pot pie perfection in X amount of minutes or pot pie perfection without soggy crust. There you go. That's going to perform better. I don't want to say, you know, guaranteed, of course, but in general, that's going to perform better. And if it doesn't work on the first try, keep going, right? Because there, or yeah, actually as well, if it does work on the first try, keep going because it's very <laughs> unlikely you found the best headline on your first attempt. Ethan, for something like that, when someone says like a, uh, uh, like a positive spin on the negative, right? Like it's not soggy crust. Would you try using that language or flip it and say like with crispy crust because it's more of a positive spin? Yeah, so love that question um typically i would want to just do what the customers are saying so if everybody's worried about soggy crust and everybody's mentioning soggy crust that's what's in their minds and that's what they're like that's the language that they're using let's speak their language mm -hmm. if people are mentioning oh this crust was so crispy oh it was the crispiest crust ever it was amazing then use crispy 
So positive versus negative, like not soggy versus yes, crispy, um, really just based off of how the customers are speaking. Awesome, love that. Okay, so I think we had Delco Spices next, right? Yep, we can do that next, and then we'll do Eat Undressed after. Awesome. Hopefully this is helpful, guys. Oh, yeah, super helpful. Okay, Tony says good. it's so insightful. <laughs> Everyone's loving it. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. And most people are staying on All right. after, so we're good. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so now that we've gone through a couple, let's. I'll, I'll turn this over to you guys quickly. What do you guys see here, here for this homepage above the fold? What could be improved here? What are some ideas? I'll refresh real quick here. Just to again, make sure that we're getting a proper load. Regina says, remove the search bar. That's an interesting one. So I'll, I'll uh, we'll earmark that one to come back to it. Any homepage above the fold here? No headline, too much copy up top. Add icons, yeah, there you go. Um, so let's think about this here, guys. Movie night must haves, right? Well, let's think about the experience that we could be portraying with this. If we're thinking about the scene of a movie night, let's show that. Let's show people enjoying the popcorn on movie night, whether it's you know uh, partners, whether it's friends, family, like etc. That's something that can be tested. But let's try that out. You know what I mean? So a bunch of people on the couch curling up with popcorn. Um, that image, what we've done with that is we've actually just replaced this text. Now we can limit it with more text or now we can uh, include more text there. So, you know, again, if, if we're kind of going with a popcorn angle, right? Oh yeah, here are the icons. There's one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, these are good here. Bring these up. All right, just bring these up here. And also too, even if you're going to have them on a carousel, you can put all three of these um, in one in the, all three of these would fit here in one. Um, all right. So, but in general, yeah, homepage of the fold. Let's redo this headline, redo this image, SVG icons. Somebody said unclear CTA. Yeah. So, you know, if I'm here, what am I supposed to do? You know what I mean? Um, we could maybe shop all popcorn. I actually don't know. Right. So I don't know. Um, yeah. So, okay. So popcorn looks like the main thing. So yeah, maybe shop gourmet, gourmet popcorn. Um, again, if we do have we have a popcorn hit here, a popcorn uh, kit here. I really like to make homepage about the fold sections and, and headlines temporally relevant. So we're coming up on Halloween. This is great. I would test this above the fold. So again, horror movie fans, there we go. Like that's that there for them. Um, talking quickly about the search bar, this is something that could be the best decision to remove. And I would like, unequivocally split test this like please uh for the love of all things you know of all things good split test this if a bunch of people use this and we remove it we're likely going to lower conversion rate if nobody uses the the search bar and we remove it we're probably gonna get a better conversion rate so either heat map this so if you have a heat mapping tool like hotjar heatmapping.com um you know what i mean looks uh, not looks um lucky orange if you have one of those just see, are people using the search bar? All right, so that's gonna be another test for you. Again, menu test, definitely here. Um, I know we didn't talk about checkout. Let me show you guys something real quick here with checkout. Again, this is a little bit grainy, so sorry on this one. You're not gonna be able to see it. This is the images, for, or that's my fault, uh, pasting the image here. Um, yeah, Tony says, hot jar is free. Yeah, up to, <laughs> up to a point, uh, then it's not free. It's actually very expensive, uh, up to a certain amount of sessions tracked, so. Um, it's very good though, uh, so yeah. Um, okay, so in this case, like let's check out Checkout here real quick on this brand. This is also Career Brew, the cacao brand. Here you can see here before, um, they just had literally the words Career Brew. What we did is we just placed a Love It Earth free guarantee, their logo, free shipping over 49 bucks. This added $48,000 a monthly incremental revenue to this brand because it, what it did was it, it decreased checkout abandonment by about 20 to 25%. I can't remember the exact number. It's, it's in between 20 and 25. Let's go with 20 to make it uh, to make sure that I'm right. Um, 
So again, I don't, you know, we're looking at a lot of home page above the folds because it's one of the easier tests that you can run. Um, Patricia says, seriously, yeah. Yep. Yep, absolutely. These checkout tests are crazy. So if you're on Shopify Plus, and there's an asterisk with, with checkout tests as of last week. <laughs> but if you're on Shopify Plus and you have not upgraded to, um, to extensibility checkout, which is basically the one page checkout, you can still split tests. If you have upgraded, certain split testing platforms are not equipped to handle that just yet. So that's the asterisk with right now as of October 12th. Um, Regina says, are the concerns with too many payout options? Yeah, that's something that we have very often split tested. And you'd be amazed that by only offering one other option or no options actually, and this is particularly the case within uh, within cart, not as much checkout, but within the cart, just saying go to checkout is often better than offering Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal Pay, uh, you know, et cetera. All right. Awesome. Those are all great. Um, the, Which one's next? We have Eat Undressed. For those who mentioned, there are some sites that were um, tagged at the very beginning of the session, so you might not see that in your chat. We'll do Eat Undressed, and then Tony will be up after that. Awesome. Okay. All right. So, home page of the fold here. Um, I don't really know what I'm getting at this point. All right. And so what I'd be doing with this is, and this is like, this is very attention grabbing. Like you have my attention for sure, but it's sort of like, okay, like what's next? Like sell me on this. So eat undress. This is a little bit tough to see. And we have shop now. If I'm looking at this, I assume that you're selling food, but I don't know what you're selling, who you're selling it for, why you're selling it. Like, you know, what are the benefits? I, I know nothing. Um, all right. So savory snack bar made of just the good stuff. This actually is a better headline up here than this. So you actually kind of already have the makings of a good homepage about the fold just elsewhere on the page. Grains, greens, almond, vegetables, also known as an unforgettable savory snacking experience. Okay, cool. Um, chewy or crunchy, it's both. Okay, so what I would be thinking about again with this is I'm thinking about um, how big is the serving? Is this like meal replacement? Is this a snack? Um, is this, you know, is it, um, do we have, uh, you know, is it like gluten-free, like things like that. Anytime that people are thinking about food, they're thinking about stuff like that. Um, this homepage about the fold again, really big, really, really big opportunity up here. The image I like, you know, there might be a better image, but this is, like I said, unequivocally eye-catching for sure. Let's replace this headline. Rather than shop now, we can replace this CTA with something that is a little bit more um, descriptive. So maybe like snack on something healthy or snack on a salad, um, something like that. Again, this is like the easiest place to look for stuff like this is what people are saying. So I don't know if we have uh, reviews easily accessible. Definitely put reviews as well on here, guys. Okay, so there's a single ingredient you can't pronounce. That's cool. Um, this is if a salad, if a salad fell in love with a protein bar. <laughs> I like that. That could be the sub, that could be the sub headline. Um, okay, that's good. Yeah. So we just need to get more information here above the fold. That's the big thing on this one. Let's check out a product page actually, because I know that we haven't really looked at the product page. So we could have to do that on Eat Undressed. Or we could do it on um, the next one, which I forget what the site was, Jordan. For the next one, it's dropped it in the chat again. Awesome, thank you. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull up this one just because I want to make sure to that everybody gets some feedback who wanted some feedback, you know what I mean? All right. Yep. Uh, why isn't this open? If I missed you and you want feedback on your site, Drop that into the chat again, because I think I got everyone, but I want to make sure I didn't miss anyone. Okay. Um, number one, home page of the fold is very busy. Um, and I 
don't. Like, let me try to figure out what this is here. Yeah, he just actually um, said, I'm curious. I'm so curious if it comes across what we do. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So two, hold on, two taster pack food waste down. So do you guys have uh, dressings and sauces and things like that in these kind of like little um, packs as opposed to bottles? Yes. Yeah, exactly that. Yep. Sauces and sample packs. All right. Okay. Well, um, Here's the good thing, uh, Tony, is that you could uh, <laughs> you probably just say that as the homepage headline: <laughs> sauces and sample pouches, uh, no more bottles. Like there you go, that's the headline, and I, now I know exactly what it is. Um, I like this graphic. This graphic to me is more for below the fold. This is more like further down the page. You know what I mean? I'd be thinking about uh, something like you could literally just say like ditch the sauce bottles, um, and the sub headline could be something very similar to the. Uh, to this example, because again, this was you know the world's first uh, recycled portable hammock uh, made from 37 plastic bottles, right? So again, if we're talking about kind of like the the um, uh, eco-friendly route, etc., that could be in the sub headline or the headline. I would just put a very clear headline here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at one of these product pages. Spicy barbecue taster box, cool. We have a lot of a lot of space that we probably could be saving. Yeah, we definitely be saving a lot of space here. So check this out. We have up here, we have below here, we have these little bars. You could put scroll arrows over here, here and here, as opposed to uh whoa. Uh we might want to take a look at this because it looks like I'm trying to I'm kind of having trouble getting out of this. So we might want to take a look at, I hit escape and it worked. So I don't know what that would look like actually on mobile or not, but take a look. You might want to put an X up there. Um, okay, we have added cart. We have buy with PayPal. All right, we've got the heat, three different flavors of barbecue sauce, two different flavors of, of rubs to get you sweating. Find out which ones match your personality. Um, okay, on this product page, we want to be seeing frequently asked questions. I want to be seeing maybe some recipes. Show me with food. Like, I want to see the final product. What can this be used to make? Like, show me how delicious this can be. You know what I mean? I want to be seeing reviews. I'd like to be seeing um, some more information on, like, how big are, like, how much is in here, um, how many servings. You know, as I'm kind of walking through and as I'm going through this product, I, there are a lot of questions that I have. Um, you have free shipping on all orders up here on the banner, which is good. But there are a lot of questions here. And um, lack of clarity is the ultimate conversion killer. Asuna says, can we make samples for other brands? I see. Cool. But yeah, so regardless, you know, all of these items are uh, still going to be completely relevant for sure. Let's just see what that happens here. Okay, so then I could go to and buy the dry rub specifically. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, I'm getting this. Yeah, so still would test adding all those elements. That's going to be very helpful. Um, Regina says, what about color? Is a crisp white screen perceived better than the use of color? Um, it could be. It could be. However, the, what I'm most concerned about is, is it distracting? Um, I don't necessarily see this as distracting. Um, could white perform better perhaps? But in this, I can tell you right now that this page, if it has all of the requisite information that I just kind of listed out, so frequently asked questions, um, you know, et cetera, that, that would help. Oh, Regina said you meant yours. I'm sorry. <laughs> but actually, that ends up, it ends up relevant for both. Awesome. If anyone else has a site, I think um, we have a couple more minutes we could probably go. Ethan, if you want, you could take a look at the uh, Joyful Co site now. I'm actively kind of making changes to that and in our uh, product page as Let's well. Let's do it. Yeah, I already saw. Um, so again, you know what I mean? I, I think whenever, whenever I looked at this, probably a couple of months ago. Yeah. 
obviously it might go a lot better. You know what I mean? So the perfect gift that spreads joy, right? Um, thoughtful gift boxes for every occasion or no occasion at all. Love it. Personal gifts, business gifts. Um, we send gifts to clients every time that somebody becomes a client, we send a gift. And then typically, you know, um, again, whether there's no occasion or if they have a big win or whatever, we're always sending gifts. So I am this market. So this is again, like a really, um, easy, uh, easy thing. Like, uh, you should see our MX bill for Harry and David. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know what I mean? So again, you know what I, you know what I'm going to say. Of course, Jordan is some SVG icons here. Yep. Um, you know what I mean. So let's talk about shipping. Um, let's talk about you know whether like not return policy maybe, but we talk about probably like number of customers that are uh, that we've helped, et cetera, et cetera, like that kind of thing. Um, best sellers, the delighted box. Let's really think about gift giving. So whenever we're thinking about like building offers and whatnot for gift giving, um, we're thinking about the kind of experience that somebody wants to give. Whenever I'm giving a gift, it's kind of selfish because I want the other person to be really happy so that I can feel good about myself having given a great gift, right? So it is kind of selfish. So what we really need to do is we need to showcase, you know, listen, how can we, how can we build the trust with the gift giver that we are going to make sure the person that they give the gift to is gonna have an awesome, amazing experience. That's what we're really doing, right? That's kind of the whole point of this. We wanna make sure that we're getting that uh, across. So if you need to have UGC, if we need to have product in use, et cetera, or somebody's literally like receiving this, um, I'd like a, yeah, so again, I like this, how it works. This is really important. This builds trust because if I'm getting a gift, I don't wanna look like an idiot for, you know, if it never arrived to somebody, you know what I mean? So, um, I would probably, unless I missed it, I would include some frequently asked questions on here. Okay, um, yep. This is going to be really important, really important as kind of things scale is you could have this exact page that the only differences are a couple um, images and words for each of these different occasions. This is one of those things where you could be getting the, ex you could be selling the exact same product, but if you specify to somebody, this is great for birthdays, that conversion rate is gonna be higher, right? Rather than just saying this is a great gift, if you say this is a great gift for birthdays, it's the same exact thing. It's going to perform better because it's specific to that. So you could have literally like ten versions of this page. You know, yeah, just like a landing page for each of the occasions, and yeah. have it specific. Easy. Yep. Yep. I love that. And though I'm also working on some uh, photos of like happy people, like giving gifts and receiving gifts too. So more people, I remember you mentioned that last time. So I'm shooting some. Yep. Of that. Exactly. Regina says, do you repeat landing pages within your site? Um, obviously not like word for word necessarily, but there are a lot of, you know, you can definitely lift and take what you need from a, a page that you know is converting to a new page. So I'll show you an example of a client. So here's one, and then I'll show you one of their landing pages. So here's these guys' homepage above the fold. Give the gift of a store told through letters this fall. And this is their homepage above the fold. Here we have their cold traffic page that they send all cold traffic to. You can see, again, it's a little bit more specific to uh, that kind of like product in use scenario. So the structure of this page is really similar, right? It's not a ton of difference. There's some slight differences, but for the most part, it's really, really similar. This has more copy images of people being happy, more experience, more reviews than the homepage will have. Um, again, as you can see here on the homepage, um, we have more just product information rather than like direct sales page stuff because all of the traffic that they send goes to this page. So this page does all the selling by the time, like for somebody to come to the homepage, they're gonna have to click this and they've already read this page. So a lot of that heavy lifting is already done. So anyway, to answer your question, yes, you can lift a lot of the material from page to page. I love that. The images are so different between like showing the experience and selling that, like on that first cold, oh, yeah. tra on the cold traffic page, there's you know very little like showing the actual product itself is really like the story building. Yeah. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So, um, 
Tony says, so you send traffic to different pages based on whether it's a cold lead. Um, yes, it depends on where you're at because a lot of people can get away with sending to a product page. Um, at a certain point, typically, you're going to start spending too much money on ads that the product page starts to not speak to all the different segments of buyers that your ads are being shown to. So let's just use the flower letters that I just showed you as, as an example. Um, one is a gift, so they'll send you a story via, via letters, right? Uh, so there are a portion of people, like half the people buy for a gift, half the people buy for themselves. As you start to spend more on ads, the people who buy for a gift versus themselves are actually like, it's a, a very different buyer mindset. So you wanna have two different places to send those people to, to speak to them specifically. You could get away with it doing, get away with doing it on one page, for sure, you could. But at a certain point, you're gonna start to hit diminishing returns where you could be spending the same amount of money but getting a better return on your ad spend because it's more specific, specificity sells. If I said, Tony, here's this, here's this split test specifically for you, run this headline. Um, you're going to pay attention to that more than if I just said, hey guys, like here's a good headline that works. You'll still pay attention, but it's not, it doesn't have the, the gravitas. You think you said something interesting earlier that like the home pages can be like the second or third most visited page. And like I had this. Yep. I guess fallacy in my head where I was like the home page should be the number one most visited page. Yeah. Um, sometimes depending on, and this really comes down to like the marketing mix in terms of ad spend, et cetera. But in a lot of cases, home page will be second or third because if you're sending paid traffic to places, whether it's a product page or landing page, that's the vast majority of traffic. And other than that, unless you have like crazy SEO that is going directly to your homepage, um, homepage is kind of after people land on wherever they're landing, whether it's a dedicated sales page, whether it's a product page, whether it's a collections page, et cetera. Some people do send it to their homepage and it still actually works um, as a sales page, you know, as like a landing page. But yeah, I would say for the vast majority of brands, it's, it's second or third, funny enough. That's so interesting. Well, Ethan, I know we were like half an hour over. I appreciate everyone who stayed and I appreciate yeah. you for staying. Um, this has been so incredibly great. I might even break this down to like the first strategy session and the second one just for the audits because both are so incredibly helpful. Um, so thank you so much nice. for spending so much time with, with us in our community and really appreciate it. Um, a couple of people DM me on ways that they're like, how can I work with Ethan? Um, so I know you're just so grateful and just like getting information out there, but I know you have a couple of yeah. ways that, that founders can actually learn more about this stuff. Do you want to share that about your the community and everything? Yeah, for sure. So of course I'll, I can, you know, I'll Jordan, you have the links, et cetera, but basically if you guys want, you can book in a call with us. Um, and we'll do actually a really similar thing that we just did on a call here. We'll just kind of go through your site. We'll go through each funnel stage, talk about what you should be doing. Um, if you guys want to work with us, we have two main options that you can do that in. One is a done with you way where we kind of consult with you and take you step-by-step, step, um, through it. The other one is done for you and where we just do the copywriting, the design, the dev, et cetera. Um, the calendar link is just 4080marketing.com slash uh, CRO calendar. Um, and again, I'll, you know, I can, I'll post that link, but Jordan, you know. Uh, yep, I'll share that link out to everyone in the, in the recap with the videos. Awesome. Ethan, thanks yep. so much again. So, and really appreciate it. Awesome. Yeah, and guys, any questions, et cetera, whatever you have, either hit me up, hit Jordan up, whatever, happy to help. We're, you know, we're, we're happy to help you guys. Definitely, Ethan. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Have a great uh, rest of your Thursday. All right. See you guys.